So what can I say about the build? It has, you know, it's been literally amazing. Like, uh, from the nostalgia alone, <laughs> since this build has been uh, pretty old, you know, I've gone through it before, and now that it's also actually performing really nicely, given the league mechanics where you can basically empower your enemies with uh, you know, a lot of additional resistances. From what I've seen, Doriani's prototype seems to bring uh, their lightning resistance uh, below the thresholds as well, whatever additional resistances they have, because I have been fighting several kinds of monsters, like here, for example, as you can see, I am about to fight a vivid empowered Maddened Roa, and for me, it just didn't feel like it was that much of a difference compared to uh, other monsters, like it, it, I mean, it, of course, it is the Maddened Roa, you know, we know that it's one of the most powerful uh, bosses out there on the maps, but for me, it was still pretty okay, you know, we did get stunned a little bit, but nothing that we couldn't handle. We could regenerate, we could leech from it, and this was another nice example of uh, fighting a tier 16 oak boss from the Mesa map, and you know, I was fighting him for the map completion, so the map had to be corrupted, and he was also uh, possessed by five tormented spirits, and we were able to handle it pretty nicely, which is pretty good. So. From that, I was pretty confident in saying that, you know, I mean, this build can reliably bring you to tier 16 maps and at least open up your atlas for you. And here we are basically just testing out our durability against the Exarch during the first encounter. But as you can see, yeah, <laughs> I tried to tank the incineration move, but sadly we couldn't. And then, of course, one of the weaknesses, of course, Doriani's prototype is weak against lightning damage over time, which is why the mineral maps boss is going to be a bit of a problem if you're going to have to complete him. And of course, ultimatum. I don't know exactly how ultimatum works uh, in terms of damage, but from what I've seen and what I've felt, it does hurt a lot. So guys, with all of that out of the way, um, would I recommend the build? Well, yes and no. Yes, if you want to have... A unique way to start the league and you know basically to at least uh open up the atlas and get your maps done because i mean with this kind of build setup or with this kind of build i was able to run all of the atlas maps without that much of a problem cannot regenerate isn't a problem for us because we can leech anyways and maps where you cannot leech is okay because we have pious paths so we can regenerate It'll only be it'll only be hard to complete if you have both of them in the map, which I think is pretty rare to get anyway. So, you know, as long as both of them are not there on the map, you can technically run a no regen or no leech map without any issues. I mean, as long as you have a mana flask as well for the cannot regenerate part or for the cannot regenerate maps, you won't have that much of a problem. And uh I mean, it has gotten our pa our Atlas passives to a pretty substantial amount. And it has gotten the Exarch and the Eater Watchstones, which is nice. And the other two Watchstones, the Maven and the uh, Uber Shaper, Uber Elder, have come from our friend uh, from iWeek, who's running a more boss-oriented build. So he has done that after specking out of a mapper. So at least for me here, you know, it's basically like a two-in-one setup that can just get you running really, really quickly. It just needs, well, it just needs uh, mainly the pa uh, the cluster, actually, because going through the gear, as you can see, uh, this is like pretty, you know, what I would say close to high end already, because we're running with the Aegis Aurora. We have Doriani's prototype that has been six linked, and of course we have a. Uh, substantial amount of auras with us without any helmet enchantments mind you <laughs> and you know, it's basically just been us um bringing our lightning res to the low negatives and keeping our other resistances up by using melding of the flesh which is of course going to be detrimental for us in getting as much negative lightning res as possible and then after that that's it you can uh, Go with your large cluster jewel with Doriani's Lesson of Storm Drinker. At least that's what I went for. Um, you can opt out of Storm Drinker if you want, but for me, it's you know, a little bit better because you have uh, 
a little bit more sustained because a thousand energy shield is pretty good enough for you to start leeching for it. And uh, medium clusters, well, they're just basically stoic focus and precise focus on both ends so that, you know, you have a little bit more durability while you're channeling storm burst and then mana reservation small clusters for zealotry and determination and then it's basically just me going for crit uh wherever i can but uh when i didn't have doriani's prototype i was going with elemental overload and just stacking up as much cast speed as i could and as much elemental damage lightning damage spell damage whatever kind of um modifiers that i could get that wasn't crit that was what i was getting for elemental overload and it was it was pretty good as well but, you know, of course, this is where you can get a lot of the extra damage from as well. And so, I mean, yeah, that's basically the build on its own. Um, let me know if you want to see me min-max this build because there is definitely more potential. I just got, you know, kind of bored with it and I'm pretty eager to test out the uh, new bleed skills. Like I said, we have been testing them out. Perforate of Bloodshed looks amazing and it feels amazing as well. Lacerate of Hemorrhaging. Uh, the one-handed weapon specific lacerate is oddly strong. I don't know why. I think it's the added flat damage that it has now. And the... Actually, both blade storms, uh, the regular blade storm and the blade storm of uncertainty, are also really comfortable to use as well. Really weird. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we're doing with it. And um, it's just been really fun. So, yeah. That has basically been it, guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see me min max this build. No problem. I can continue doing that once we get the champion to 90, because that's what we're going to use for our bleed skills. And uh, I hope your league starts being great and happy holidays to you all.